I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. Hello to all you hoof heads watching this video. In today's episode, you won't believe the pressure that was released from this hoof. Enjoy the video. We better get back to see what Santa's at. It goes without saying, this cow really needs our help. We are happy to get her into the crush and see how we can make her day more comfortable. So it was this girl's front left foot causing her the discomfort. That's the foot I normally start on. So let's get on and find the issue. On trims like these, as you've seen before, I start cleaning around the heels with the knife to see what we are dealing with, before getting a level with the grinder. And as I start removing some of this excess hoof, it isn't too long before we can see the start of that white line defect. There we have it, the squelchy release of a pressurised cavity. That explains the discomfort she had at the beginning of the video. It's going to take a little longer to debride the loose horn from this. So I fit the block so it can be setting while I'm removing the loose horn from that inner heel. This here is quite soft and squidgy now, so this here is the void where the pus was and I can feel now that it's, it's, it's empty, we've squeezed it out. So it's just a matter of trimming away this here to take away it, there's more coming out. Coming right from here the whole way down, so to gently, as gently as we can, trim away these rugged pieces of hoof here that are quite sharp to allow this to heal. Just continues to drain here as I'm trimming it out. It's gunk and dirt there. How much pus is going to come out of this? It's crazy. So much relief for the cow. And there's only one other thing that's going to aid this cow's recovery. A nice salicylic acid gel bandage. This stuff really is amazing in helping the healing process. And with most cows, they're a little unsure when they take their first steps after a trim like this before they realise, oh, I feel better already when I walk. Wow, and just like that, five weeks went past. I know time flies, but maybe not that quick. Let's get this cow into the crush. This is a really exciting day for cow 4303. This is how she was walking the last time. This is how she's walking today. So all we need to do is get this cow behind me out of the crush and get 4303 in to see as her foot looking as well as she's walking. I'm really not surprised this block's still on. Black Magic Glue is really good for block retention, which has allowed this cow to walk so well like we've just seen. So if you can actually remember how, what this cow was like five weeks ago, this here was incredibly raw, 
all of the pus was coming out of here and there was some coming out of here. So we cleaned out those cavities, put on a nice salicylic acid bandage. So let's see, as we trim this down, how this cow's recovered. Wow, nature really is amazing. Just look how that fracture has closed over in just five weeks. There's no doubt about it. Hoof trimming is a physically and sometimes mentally tough job. I'm not complaining, I signed up for it. But recoveries like these make it also hugely satisfying. This is where the new layers of hoof are growing in around this black area, that's the start of it. So that was all a cavity beforehand. So just need to take this gently. It seems to be really well dried out. A lot of people, when they find out that I'm a hoof trimmer, find it to be quite a strange job. If you're new to hoof trimming, or these channels on YouTube, the reason we put on these wooden blocks that you see on this outer claw is to rest a sick and a sore injury. Like you've seen at the beginning of this video, this cow had a really sore heel. Well this piece of wood has rested this inner claw to allow it to heal over this past five weeks. So we just have this little area at the top here that's still a little bit open um, but considering this was all open here and here the last time we trimmed this cow it's really starting to close up nicely. So there's just a tiny little nothing of the curry in there compared to what there was. I don't think this is worth bandaging again. This is a nice clean farm. This cow's got enough of a block just to finish off the recovery process there. So a little spray of Ripoderma will do the trick in the final part of this cow's recovery. This is what I mean here. This cow's wore about half of this block. She just has enough there to carry her over the final little bit and keep her comfortable. Really delighted to be able to bring you the journey to wellness of cow 4303. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Sorry, I meant to say I hope you enjoyed the video um, because that is the end of the video. It's been a long day. Take care folks and if you enjoyed seeing that transformation of cow 4303 and you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join us on the journey. Take care and we'll see you all on the next one. What a comfortable cow. Santa is almost finished his hoof trimming training. See you all tomorrow where the elf on the shelf returns.